Yeah. Laxton fighting a double team. Jackson weaves through traffic and misses. Rose with a foul. Steven Jackson playing a wild and erratic game. Tim Duncan's not getting enough touches. Now they're going to take Tim Duncan out. Kenya Martin talking with Dan Crawford. Martin was trying to take the ball away from Rose after the foul was called. And Rose held the ball away from him. And you'll see right here the foul was called. And then Kenya says, I I'll take that. And Malik said, no, you're not going to take that. Rasheed Wallace, just one of six from the field. And a hard foul set by Garnett. The pick knocking down Hunter. And Garnett picks up his third. Oh, what Kevin Garnett is trying to do is get Lindsey Hunter off of the body of Eddie House. Certainly an offensive foul, but trying to do the right thing as a big man. Ball, get out of my way. The same offense that KG talked about in game seven. And Hamilton whacks Kevin Garnett. That's going to be Hamilton's fourth foul. Mark Wunderlich may have a different call. They're going to check. No, nope, it's against Hamilton. Trying to fight through a screen. Brought up his right arm and hit Garnett in the face. Well. Whoa. That, that's almost like throwing an L. That's, uh, that's close not almost play. like yeah. it. That is. That's a dirty play by Rip Hamilton. Give Kevin Garnett credit. Said, Mr. Referee, you take care of it. Uh, Hamilton is not that kind of player, but... KG coming down the lane. A little extra something on that foul. Playoff foul, I guess you'd call it, by Horford. KG slow to get up. Well, Horford has been doing... Uh... All of this stuff for their team. I mean, it's a foul, but it, it wasn't a particularly... It's a borderline flagrant, all right? And, and he just pulled it away about a half a count before it was a flagrant. All right, they're going to call it a flagrant. Yep, yeah. he, he's the guy that's been rocking and socking people and getting away with it. And he hit him in the head. Yeah, that's, he did. He did. That's that's an automatic. Defense. Defense. Johnson. And a blocking foul is called. Let's take a look. We got a technical foul, I believe, called on Kevin Garnett and his Danny's reaction. Now this is this is Couldn't see where Pierce was, if he was in the paint, uh, the circle or not. Uh, and that's what they're saying. Pierce was in the circle. So if he was, he picks it up. Here comes Robinson on the roll, three on one. Alley up to Curry. Nate Robinson made that play by accelerating and getting the open look. Well, he has the he has the intensity and the energy to get to the to spots, and he made a has come to the gym. Oh yeah, come to the gym always. This is the gem. If you if you lose sight, that does the Corver taking swing a kick around. in the head. So Curry off to a, another good start. Corver apparently okay. Whacked on the monitor. Give it, give uh, Nate Robinson some credit. Here's Smith, the official, ready to fall down, knock down the you, monitor. Yeah, it's all shook up, ready to grab people. Trying to hold him.
but then madness. Mo P now Harrington get tangled up. Al believes that Mo did it on purpose. Isaiah Thomas said he's upset because he feels that people are taking cheap shots at the Pacers. Party's on. It's going to be off for the rest of the season. This is going to be a wake-up call for the Pacers. Look at Isaiah Thomas upset because he said that Peterson mouthed something to him that he could not repeat. Ejections abound and the madness abound. Why do guys take their jerseys off when they... I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I still don't understand it. Why do they take the jerseys off? 102 to 90. I know he had two threes early in the game on Mookie. And that's just insult to injury. Bryant and O'Neal, you expect. It's the role players for L.A. Sir, a little flip. Off fire. Jamison spilled to the floor. He's hurt. Antoine Jamison. I think he's going to be okay, but he... Hughes with the steal. It's a two-on-one. Larry taking it in. And Antoine blocked by Grant. Takes it back and puts it in. Team shooting in this quarter. Now Bobby Sura goes in for the drive. Jamison hard to the floor. Lays there until the Warriors come up with the ball. And he says, all of a sudden, hey. Oh, Good block by Horace Grant. And I'm able to play last night because of this play right there. Watch Kobe's right arm as he comes back and gives a little whack to Mono Ginobili. At the time, a foul was not called, but later he was suspended for one game. Overreaction time? Well, the guys with the striped shirts didn't blow a whistle, and uh, somebody must have called up the league office. Somebody from San Antonio. <laughs> yeah, I would think, and uh, all of a sudden, I think it was an overreaction. So Gerald again. Another rebound to Odom, trying to throw it off Perkins, and he does. Let's check in with Greg Dickerson. Hi, Mike. Doc Rivers trying to keep his uh, troops positive during that last timeout. Saying, guys, we still have a long way to go. Stay positive, keep fighting. And then he talked to uh, Kendrick Perkins a little bit as Perk comes out of the ball game. Perk a little bit frustrated off that technical foul, and, and Doc said, you can't let things sit and stew. If it happens, let it go. Don't let it affect you down the other end of the floor. Yeah, that's what Rondo did the other night, and <laughs> Kirk, the man that he is, just stood up and walked off the court. <laughs> didn't even cough. Did not even, didn't flinch. Loops it ahead to Evans. Evans to Parker. Turiaf goes down hard. Let's take another look here. Wally Serbiak is going to be called for a flagrant foul. And it was the second hand that came in that got him in trouble, I do believe. Uh, they, they say he yanked him down. Team. <laughs> Parker did cut him off momentarily. 23 in the game for oh, Jason hey. Kidd. Whoa. Tony Parker got it right in the throat. The Tumbo's relentless pursuit of the ball.